is New York Nightly News with Chuck Scarborough, live on New York Nonstop. And of course, if you want a refund, you have to file a return, and the deadline for that, as we said, is less than two days away now. So if you waited until the last minute, we have some 11th hour tips for you from Gary Milwick. He's the director of tax operations at the Tax Club. And it is crunch time now. If it's just too tough, to try to get everything done right now before the deadline on the 15th, what can you do? Yeah, what you can do is file an extension. The, the, the thing you don't want to do is panic and, and put something out that, that's incorrect. It's going to cause you to receive a notice from the IRS later. Uh, so if you can't put everything together right now, you just file an extension. Now, it's, it's, How tough is that? It, it's not tough at all. It's a form 4868. You can easily get it on the IRS's website. Mm -hmm. um, one thing to note that's very important is that a, an extension is an extension of, of time to file your tax return, not an extension of time to pay. So if you think you owe money, you need to pay that by April 15th. And what if you don't have the money to pay? What, can, you, can the extension help you there? What do you do? Basically, if, if you know what the amount is that you're going to owe, you need to go ahead and pay as much of that as you can. Um, you, know, you can always pay later, but you're going to incur penalties and interest along with that. Um, you can pay with credit card this year. Uh, that's been instituted a couple of years ago. You can pay by credit card. If you just flat out can't pay and you're, you're unemployed or, or something like that and, and you're not going to be able to pay in the near future, you can set up an installment agreement with the IRS wh where you can pay over time. How uh, advisable is it to e-file instead of mailing it in? Uh, particularly if you're going to re receive a refund, it's very advisable. You, uh, it cuts down the time to receive your refund from weeks to about 10 days, as little as 10 days. So it's, it's much faster to receive a refund. Okay, refund e-file. If you owe money, <laughs> put it in the mail. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's not as important to, to e-file yeah. if you owe money. Okay, good. What are the, what's new this year with the tax code? There's some, a couple of really interesting things. One is, you know, a lot of people have, are unfortunately facing foreclosures in this economic environment. Mm -hmm. um, so one thing to note that in the past, if a bank forgave some of your debt for your loan, uh, say they forgave $20,000 of, of a loan, you would have to recognize that as income on your tax return and pay taxes on it. Mm -hmm. This year, that's not the case. This year, if they forgive a loan, it, it's up to $2 million in some cases, um, that is not recognizable for income. So that, that's one thing that, that's, that's important for this year. There's also a credit, isn't there, for purchasing a, a home for first-time buyer? There is, and that's, that's a really interesting thing because it applies to 2009. So if you're a first-time home buyer in 2009, then you can uh, obtain a credit for 2008, and it's up to $8,000 credit. And, and a credit's a big deal because that's a dollar-for-dollar dollar reduction of your tax liability. So that's what, a big deal. What's the cutoff for, for, for making a contribution to your IRA? That's a good point for as 2008. well. Yes, you can do that up until April 15th, so you still have a couple of days to do that as well. So, and, and if you want to put money to a traditional IRA, that's the tax deduction. And uh, you can put up to $5,000, $6,000 if, if you're 50 and, and up. Mm -hmm. What's the most common mistake people make when they file a return? It's, it's generally the really simple stuff. They'll, they'll put the wrong Social Security number, forget to sign the return, you know, put the wrong routing or bank account number for a, a direct deposit of, of the refund. And that's a, that's a bad situation. You don't want your money going somewhere else. All right. Good hot tips, Gary. Thanks for coming Thank and you. sharing with us. We appreciate it.